Shortly before the UK entered lockdown, we enjoyed a weekend of blue skies, and many of our fellow citizens headed for the hills. In fact, they headed for the parks, they headed for the islands too, and some of them even headed for their caravans. This caused a bit of annoyance amongst those of us who were already isolating. But really, we should be sympathetic, and we certainly shouldn't be surprised. In times of crisis, humans look to the countryside. We find comfort in the rural landscape. It's a welcome contrast to our predominantly urban lives. We yearn for the simple life of the shepherd. We try to find safety by being in harmony with nature. And this isn't new. The ancient Greeks sentimentalised the rural life they felt they'd already lost. Pastoral poetry was wildly popular in 15th century Italy, perhaps as a response to the new technologies of the Renaissance world. Milton's Paradise Lost describes perhaps the most fundamental rural setting of them all, the Garden of Eden. So what's driving all of this? Well, nostalgia, of course. And it's that same nostalgia that makes us look back at our own lives to roughly between the ages of five and 15 and remember it inaccurately as a golden age for the whole of society. Musicians are certainly not immune to this kind of nostalgia. Pastoral moods are very common in music. You'd probably recognise them if you heard them. In fact, Eric Saylor, uh, in his brilliant new book specifically on English pastoral music, helps us to define this mood, this sound. The music is gentle, dare I say even idyllic, and it has a characteristic mood, a characteristic sound lush strings, distant horns, perhaps even the suggestion of a panpipe. The composer Elizabeth Lutyens described it, I think perhaps rather unkindly, as folky wokey modal melodies on the core anglais. Pastoral music remains popular precisely because it makes us, as listeners, feel warm and secure. And composers throughout history have been compelled to create pastoral music by their own nostalgia and by their anxieties in the present. So my question for you, perhaps for the dinner table tonight, is this. What music, what art brings you comfort in times of trouble?